Hello friends, welcome back to our Father Kanda's YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, Smart India Hackathon 2020 organized by AACT and MHRD of India. So I have already done a video on Smart India Hackathon 2020 and what are the experience we have been in the year of 2018-19 and the 7th edition. So Smart India Hackathon is an initiative which was started from the year of 2017 by government of India under the AACT and MHRD. And the first edition was only the software hackathon and the second and third edition comprises of both software and hardware hackathon. So in this years of Smart India Hackathon 2020 software edition, there is a drastic change from the previous years. Because in the previous year, a student from a college can submit n number of ideas in the SIH portal and the institutions has also have no limits for submitting the ideas. Only thing is that the SPOC of Smart India Hackathon uh, from the college should approve the uh, proposal of the students so that uh, it will consider for the evaluation. But this year the Smart India Hackathon has said that a college can submit only up to maximum of 5 proposals and additionally they can submit 2 proposals in the waiting list. And also that the teams cannot be uh, select, randomly select the problem statements. The SPOC should lock the five problem statements before itself and they have to conduct an internal hackathon in the college. So this video is mainly for the uh, colleges so that they have to uh, predetermine or uh, pre-evaluate or pre-discuss with the students and find out what are the problem statements the students are capable of and uh, they have to conduct an internal hackathon in it. So after completing the internal hackathon, the uh, SPOC should give the authorization to the team leaders of the various uh, ideas and they have to submit the proposal in the SIH portal. We don't have the entire uh, format of the proposal now because last year it was changed from the previous year. So once I got the outline of the proposal, I will uh, make a video on that. And in the meantime, you can view other uh, content separation videos in my channel so that it will be very useful for the Smart India Hackathon. So as a team member, as a team leader, students like uh, our viewers should re rethink of the face of the Smart India Hackathon. Because we, you cannot simply submit an idea now. You have to entirely prepare your project idea into a prototype or a software. So as a student, now it is your chance to prepare for the Smart India Hackathon internally itself. You cannot just submit an idea and wait for the finals. So this year, you should develop your idea within your college so that you can showcase that in the Smart India Hackathon. I personally support the initiative by the ACT this year because last year when we were submitting proposal for the hardware hackathon, I felt that most of the uh, proposals were submitted only in the format of a PowerPoint presentation where we cannot expose our entire idea. Once this kind of uh, internal mode of evaluation comes, the students can concentrate on their uh, live uh, prototyping or a minimum viable product so that they can give a very good proposal, a quality proposal which will be very easy for the evaluation of the Smart India Hackathon organizers and the industries. So students, um, tell your uh, college uh, SPOC about this kind of uh, initiative has been given by the uh, ACT. I think most of the uh, uh, colleges would have received the details of the Smart India Hackathon software edition. The hardware edition details has been not yet uh, given. The finals of the Smart India Hackathon 2020 is expected to be around March 15 and the problem statements uh, receiving has been closed to from the uh, October 15 so that we are expecting the problem statements to be out at the end of the October. General uh, topics of the problem statements uh, from the similar to the last year like the healthcare, uh, biomedical, uh, mobility. I will post the outline of the problem statements once I, we have received the entire problem statement list in the software edition as well as in the hardware edition. And one additional point what they have mentioned in that website is that the college uh, can submit the five proposals of the students, four in the problem statements given by the AACT and MHRD and one problem statement you can submit in the student innovation category. In the product statement category, the product statements will be given by the central ministry, state ministries or uh, the industries. In the student innovation category, the general uh, ideas of the students can be submitted in any one of the students innovation category given by the AACT. So friends who are watching this uh, video, share this to your friends so that they will be aware of the Smart India Hackathon 2020 software edition. Start your preparation as soon as possible. I think most of the institutions 
will have the exams in the month of November so that uh, forming your team uh, which is a very very important thing for uh, doing any project or any uh, uh, software development think of an idea with your mentor work on it subscribe share and comment